Alright, welcome to my little mess. We're upgrading the wires. If you don't have an idea what I'm doing here, adding a bigger alternator for those that haven't seen it yet. And this is to control the voltage going to, through the alternator. And this is to do better grounds and more power flowing through the wires. This is going to the alternator. This may look a little bit thicker than battery wire because it is. <laughs> this is a uh, 2 watt, which is like say 2 gauge wiring. A different belt because of the size of the smaller pulley. This is going to be about a 225 volt, I mean an uh, amp alternator. My old one was doing uh, about 105. We're going to let it take a break. Yep. Alright, we're going to have some fun. Oh wait, hold on. You know how I like doing those one-handed videos? Let's see. Let's show right here. Having the right tools for the right job. Boink. Not bad, huh? All right, I'll be nice. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. Before I put in the alternator, let me explain this right quick. This is the relay that's gonna turn on and turn off this box. So now I got a ground. You gotta. Sand it down first to get a good ground. One ground is going to go to the relay, which is the 30 on the relay. You'll see numbers. This is the positive coming from the relay down there, which is the number 87. And then this is the ground that's going to go this way. Alright, but on the ground that goes to the relay is number 85 all right and then on this right here if you're ever doing one of these this one leads to the external part of the alternator if your alternator has for an external regulator that's where it's gonna go connected so it's to the alternator then you got your ground and you got your positive that goes to the relay. Then after that, the wires that come out of it, the one that says 30, is gonna have a fuse. I, I had a 40 amp fuse laying around, so I put a 40 amp fuse, but this is gonna go directly to the battery. And this is gonna go to an accessory wire, which will turn on and turn off with the car. You'll find one. That's my regulator switch to control the whatever speed I want the alternator to be running at. The new alternator that's gonna go in there. And I'll know because it'll tell me the voltage on here, what I'm running. The most you ever want to do is maybe 14, 9, 15. And the, like a regular system, if you got like a 16 volt or 18 volt, that's a whole new ball game. I'm only running like 13, 14 volt system. I'm not a pro, but I play one on TV. All right. All right. Since it's winter, I'm almost about to lose my light, but that's what I did so far. We make our own zip ties. I ran most of it, I just gotta cover this up. I just left it out there so y'all could see. Before I cover it back up.
I went and bought some antifreeze because I know I'm going to have to spill out the antifreeze when I take out my alt. So make sure if you're going to change out your alternator and you're going to be dumping out the old antifreeze. Pick up some backup. Ugh. I picked up the kind that goes in any car. <laughs> all makes and models. Whatever. I got to clean my camera. It's all full of fingerprints. Yep. Almost, almost got it the way I want it. I gotta buy some more and cover up those holes. But I left them matching so it'll look cool. Haha. <laughs> Alright. 